This is going to be a treat for you from a Parisian, and another Parisian. Your French is okay. Bonsoir. Uh, bonsoir. <laughs> bonsoir et merci pour vos livres. Uh, anyway, the question was, did you take under uh, consideration when you decided on the final cover of the book, uh, how people voted for, for to pick out a cover? Um, if people hadn't <laughs> voted the way they voted, then this would not be the cover of the book. This is their... This, um, I kept, they, they said that the, if you saw, remember the yellow cover with the derby on it? Um, they said this will be the cover. And I said, okay, and we had words. And, um, and, and because I kept, because then they would say, but you keep running these surveys. And I said, yes. And they said, but you know this is going to be the cover. And I said, yes. I said, but I have 6,000 people that think this should be the cover. Well, not this. Yes. <laughs> this should be the cover. And they said, yes, but it's not going to be the cover. And I said, how many people around the office did you ask? <laughs> and I, that's why I kept running surveys. And they kept saying, well, you know, this yellow thing is going to be the cover. And I said, did you see what these 11,000 people said about the cover? And they said, yeah. And I said, okay, good to know. Um, and I know that will be the cover because you guys are marketing and you're in charge. And when it's a huge failure, it will be my fault, even though I've asked my readers. Let me tell you a story about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, it, here's, I'm at, the, I'm at Comic-Con, and the head of marketing at my publisher is at Comic-Con at a publishing party with publishing people. And he says to me, I said, this is what should be on the cover, only I wanted the Art Nouveau type on it. And he said, well, and we had a Mucha was one of the choices. Uh, Alphonse Mucha was a, an Art Nouveau thing that I also liked. And he said, I don't think your readers would, um, would like, you know, the men would be embarrassed to carry a, a cover with a pretty girl on it. <laughs> and, and it you know, was too feminine. And I, and I said two things. I said, first, well, we were thinking about marketing to men with a normal size penis. <laughs> and, and the second thing I said, now remember where this is. This is Comic-Con San Diego. I said, let's do this. Why don't you walk across the street to that convention center where there are 100,000 people, most of them male, and look around at the covers of what they're selling over there, and then come back here and tell me that a man won't carry a book around with a woman on the cover. And then he almost burst into tears. He said, I don't know, Borders went out of business. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, it was ridiculously difficult. And, and finally, I don't know why they caved, except I think they thought, and they were probably correct, that I was going to wait until the very last minute and tell all you guys I was on tour and then go, oh no, I think you should send the marketing guy. <laughs> he certainly knows more about this book than I do. <laughs> yeah. And then they would have had to deal with 100,000 of you instead of the 11,000 or so that picked the cover. So that's, we to they totally took it. They're afraid of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And which is awesome. You know? 